All right, I'm going to try to go live again here. Um, actually, I'm going live. I'm just waiting to see it show up on my streaming area. Let's see, is that the live stream? It appears to be. So I upped it to 60 frames per second. So let's see what happens there. All right, so hopefully it'll fix that problem. Okay. All right. Let's see if it helped. Uh, thanks for sticking around. I appreciate that. Um, so let's take this shot and see what happens. Uh, I think I'm good on my shot placement. Yeah, plenty of fairway ahead of me. What's even bad about this is my um, internet connection is gig up and a gig down, so it's not an internet bottleneck per se. So it's it's got to be a maybe a graphics card conflict since I'm since I'm basically streaming and playing on the same computer. Um, that could be the problem. I don't know. All right. Six miles per hour wind, headed across, kind of up and across the green. So let's see if I can drop it in there. Ah, uh, not too bad. I should be able to at least par this. Um, I'm not sure what I'm using for the encoding. Let me jump in there and look and see NVNC is what it's set to so it's set to a hardware encoder in NVNC because it still looks choppy on the laptop um, as I'm sitting here kind of watching it it definitely looks choppy and and doesn't look you know, the live quality, even though it says it's 1080p, 60 frames per second, the quality doesn't look that sharp at all, um, which I would expect it to have been. All right, let me um, hit this, play this hole here, and then I'll start the, I'll stop and restart the stream again with that setting. But let me get this birdie out of the way first. Oh, at least I thought it was going to be a birdie. All right, so I got a par, so let me um, stop the stream one more time and make that change and see if if that fixes it. And take the suggestion of the one person that's watching the stream besides myself uh, on the other laptop. So I made the change and should be streaming again. So the change was made. Um... So let's see what happens here. Okay. So it's a par three. He doesn't even want me to hit the green on this one. But we're going for the green. I do not care. I am going for the green. If I miss it, I miss it. Now we've got dogs barking. This has just not been a good streaming experience at all. I have dogs barking. have a choppy streaming. Not good at all. Oh. All right, settle for par. All right, so to answer the bitrate question... Uh, 2,500, uh, is all I'm, all, is all I'm set to. I'm not set up higher than that. That was kind of the default that I had. Four. 
So I, I appreciate all the suggestions. I just really am not sure what I need to do. I'm just going to have to do some other testing. I may just stream to YouTube and not stream to Twitch and do some stuff there. Unless you're watching from YouTube. Um, so let me hit this. I mean, I'm on, I'm on hole 12. Just got a few more left to go. So let's just hope I hit this in the fairway. Oh, bad bounce in the wrong direction. Still very, very choppy. Not as bad. It looks like it's a little bit better, but the quality is just terrible as far as the picture quality and everything. I'm new to this whole streaming thing, so I might have to do some research, I think, to figure out how to improve it. Because this computer's more than capable of running it. More than capable of running. Let's try right there. Let's see if I can't hit this birdie. There we go. Just like to know what. What I need to do to make this work. So I am going to play around with some settings and do some testing. It looks like just on YouTube um, for these streaming things. Oh, that was an awful shot right into the. That was terrible. More worried about uh, Yeah, let me let's see. I wouldn't expect it to be the I mean, I'm on ultra settings for the game, but I wouldn't expect that to affect the the stream um, just because the game's in ultra settings. I would think it'd be a little bit more smoother, but maybe it that's not the case. I screwed that shot up big time. Let's try it right there and see if we can't get out of this bunker. Because I really hosed that shot. Worried about my stream and letting my golf game go to crap. So let's see what I can do here. Try to at least get on the green to Going with the eight iron here. be able to get a birdie. Yeah, it's just going to have to be um, me testing some stuff out because, granted, I'm getting help. <laughs> And uh, I'll be honest with you, you're not bothering me at all. Um, I, I like that I've got somebody to give me feedback on what the experience is. Other than having a laptop um, sit here next to me streaming YouTube, um, I wouldn't know. So, you know, I, I would probably go back and watch it after I got done streaming, but yeah. Um, Definitely, I appreciate all the the insight that I can get. Um, I do not mind your any advice because <laughs> um, I want the best experience, not only for me but for people that may want to watch. And really, you know, I realize that I play in the game anyways, and I've got a system, I've got a camera, 
and I figured I could stream even if nobody watches because I'm going to play the game anyway. So if someone does want to watch and enjoy it, that'd be fantastic. But I do need to figure out what's causing the the choppiness and the poor quality because I wouldn't expect to have that, to be honest. Not with this setup. Oh, this wasn't a bad shot there. Definitely wanted to get rid of the choppiness. And I really do hate those cutaways. When those cutaways come on, I really hate those. Definitely need better quality. But, you know, I'm on the 14th hole. So, yeah, choppiness is a hard one because I'm not sure what's causing it. Um, it's just I think it's going to be a trial and error type thing for me to find the settings that work. But I also, you know, want to at least stream 1080p. Don't want to stream anything lower than that. Don't think I should have to. Um, this day and age, I would expect a, a much better streaming experience. Um, like I said, my internet connection is very strong, so it's not an internet bottleneck that's occurring. Um, and the gaming PC that I'm using is actually not on wireless either. It's plugged into the uh, an actual Ethernet port, so I'm not having issues with fluctuations in the signal so I don't think that's the problem but I'm, I'll get it figured out I may not get it figured out like I said I'm not getting it figured out for this session but I will get it figured out um, it's just going to take some trial and error I think alright No, um, it shows zero dropped frames. And I've been kind of watching that myself as well. I mean, it's showing that it's, uh, but it's also showing, it's not showing 60 frames per second either after I made that change. It's only showing 20, nine, yeah, 20 frames per second from the CPU when I made that change over to, to software. So I know that's got to be some of it. So I've got to find what the the correct setting is to get the right frames per second that I need. And this is going to be a terrible, terrible putt. Um, it, it's all over the place. Well, I got closer than I expected. Yeah, so... It, the frames per second is really killing me, even though, and for video, I got it set to 60 frames per second. But my streaming, my encoder preset, I've got to s ultra fast. So let's see. So with another hole behind us, let's take a look at the leader. Yeah, so whenever it goes back to gameplay, my frames per second drops like a rock. Now when it was just, when it wasn't on the gameplay and it was just kind of showing kind of one of those videos, it it was fine. It, but when I'm going to gameplay, my frames per second drop significantly. So I don't know what what that is about. So right now it's showing 24 frames per second. But I did get close to the hole. So 
So like right now, with what it's showing on the screen now, is 60 frames per second. Which would be why it's very, very smooth. Okay, so now I've gone back to my gameplay, and I'm now at 25 frames per second again. So, that's going to be the challenge. To figure out what that special recipe is. And thank you for the birdies, uh... I'd much I'd like to I'd, I'd like to have at least a couple of eagles per game um, but the eight mile per hour wind and the fact that it's always pushing towards me makes it very difficult to to get the bird to get the eagles um, getting the birdies is usually a lot easier let's see if I can chip any oh so close on the chip so close on the chip all right, so this was this will be for birdie, and to win the tournament. Um, but yeah, I think I got some ways to go to try to figure out the streaming issue and how to how to make it smooth. So if I click off of the game, move off the game, my frames per second jump. So it looks like I've got some uh, work to do, but one another tournament. Even with all the uh, issues I'm having with the stream, um, but as but I really do appreciate uh, your help on this, and hopefully the next time I stream, I'll have this issue worked out, and I'll be able to have a smooth higher quality stream as I work through the, the problems. So I think what I'm going to do now is probably stop streaming, at least through Twitch, use my um, YouTube account to stream to just so I can see it, as I make setting changes what that does to it. All right, I'll, get, I'll give that a try as well, going back to the NVNC uh, in and see if that works on the 5750 bitrate. Um, if I get it worked out, um, I will try to get back on and do another stream on Twitch. But right now, I think I'm going to play around with live streaming onto um, YouTube just to kind of work out some of these bugs. But I really appreciate your help, and thanks a lot for watching, and hopefully I'll see you again. And if I do, um, send me a shout-out and let me know you're watching. I appreciate it.